monument of a private Confederate soldier bucked recent trends and will remain in Centennial Park. The Tennessee Historical Committee rejected a petition from the Metro Board of Parks and Recreation for its removal. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Wilkes. News 2's Tori Gessner explains why the commission voted to preserve the monument and what those who want it taken down plan to do next. Standing tall in Centennial Park, sculpted from bronze, a monument of an unknown Confederate soldier at the center of a years long debate in Nashville. Confederate monuments and memorials have been low hanging fruit because they're the easiest to demonize in the view of many. The private Confederate monument was erected in 1909 to help bereaved Southerners interpret the meaning and implications of defeat, according to the Metro Arts Commission. In 2019, the monument was vandalized, splattered with red paint. The words, they were racist, sprayed on the front. Some believe the country can't move forward until statues like these are removed. Take them down and then we can have a serious conversation about how we want to actually memorialize this moment and make sure that we include a lot of the African Americans who died and fought um, in the Civil War, that we include uh, a much more complex history. In March 2022, Metro Parks and Recreation asked the state for a waiver to take the statue down. On Friday, the Tennessee Historical Commission denied their request because of the historical significance of the monument protected by law. While some believe this part of history should not be honored, Sons of Confederate Veterans Attorney Edward Phillips says in order to learn about the Civil War, both sides need to be represented. It's all connected. And without each one of our facets of history, each one of the you know, periods, we wouldn't be where we are today and have the things to be thankful for that we can be thankful for. And each one of those things had to happen in order for us to be where we are in the present. Metro Parks and Rec says they are still waiting to receive the Tennessee Historical Commission's decision in writing to make it official. Then board members will talk about the next steps. Bob.